So tell us how you enjoyed the game today. What were your favourite parts? Oh, that was just incredible. Um, goal after goal after goal, goal after goal. Wasn't it so much a fan of the yellow cards? But we are going to oh win the God. whole thing. We are going to win the whole thing. Razo was just incredible. Um, oh. Champions. Champions. She's a bit too excited. I think she's lost all words. But um, that was just an amazing game and an absolute privilege to be here tonight to witness this. Thank you, Matildas. We love Matildas. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about the atmosphere in there? It sounds it like was it's pumping. It was electrifying. The game has been over for heaps of minutes, but everyone is still partying around. Everyone is still so excited. And I think their party is going to go on and on and on until we win the whole thing. Which we will. Which we will. <laughs> Obviously just a little bit nerve-wracking heading into this one after the disappointment of the last game. How do you think they, they bounced back, especially uh, with Kerr still not playing? We were nervous, but the Matildas, I don't know why we were nervous. They nail it every time. They bounce back, as they always do. And the team is not just Sam Kerr. The team is the team. And they will win it every time. And, like, just having Mary Fowler back, you could just see the intense... <laughs> improvement <laughs> it made to our game tonight the girls just gelled so well and you know it just proves that what Gus lalson has been working on in terms of depth to the team has just worked and oh what a night so you think, Canada. So you, think <laughs> you think they're starting to click at the right Let's moment go three lines on a ship <laughs> They, I've been hijacking my interviews all day. They, the Matildas have found their group tonight and Sam will be back for the knockouts and we are going to smash it. If we can take the energy that we had together tonight and follow it through, we are going to make it far in this tournament. Oh, yes. And you know what? I'm in denial we're going to make it far regardless. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank that was you. awesome. Cheers. Thank you. We are the champions! That was incredible! Oh, oh, I can't believe How did you enjoy the game? Very much. What was your favourite part? Uh, the humour and the goals. Yeah. The atmosphere you enjoyed? Yeah. Yeah. And how far do you think the Matildas can go in this World Cup? I think they can make it all the way because they did a lot of teamwork and they passed the ball a lot and they're a very good team. Thank you. Dad, how did you see the atmosphere in there and how do you think? Loved it. Yeah. I thought after the first two games they tried but just wasn't right there, but tonight, in front of the Melbourne crowd, sensational. You think they're gelling at the right time, heading perfectly, into the business perfectly. end? Perfectly, they've saved Kerr for the right moments, and uh, I just think Razo, absolute gun on the wing. You go, both you girls play soccer? Yeah. 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 Does this inspire you to kind of train a little bit more, yeah, and maybe yeah, one day become... Years, I can play on that pitch. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. Cheers, yeah. appreciate it. Cheers. Exciting night for the Matildas. How did you see the game? Mate, I was front row, right against the pitch. I saw, I, I saw uh, Steph Catley's pen go in. Oh, put it, top bend. You get your turn after him. So just give him, give him a minute. I, I got some opinions here. Hot takes, hot takes. Uh, a bit nerve wracking going into the, tonight's game. So how do you think the Matildas bounce back oh, from the pressure they were on? Mate, that? amazing. Tony Gustafsson putting out Matildas. Uh, Tony Gustafsson putting out, you know, Mary Fowler back from a concussion. You know, absolute playmaker there. She put in such a great effort. It was amazing. All the girls, amazing. And how far do you think the Matildas can go? Mate, we can win this World Cup. See, everyone, everyone in Melbourne down in Fed Square on the World Cup final. We will win it. We will win. Trust me on this. That's all I need. Thank you. Beautiful. Can you tell us how you enjoyed the game today? Um, it was really good and... I really was hoping that the Matildas would win. Were you a little bit nervous going into it? Yeah. Yes. Was this the first time you've seen the Matildas play? No. no. So you're big fans? Yes. And how far do you think they can go in this World Cup? Um, really far if they try to push themselves. <laughs> and can you tell me a little bit about your favourite player from the Matildas? Um, and... My favourite player is Mini Katrina Gord. Yeah, what about you? Um, Ali Carpenter. Wonderful. And what was your favourite moment of tonight's game? Uh, when they won. <laughs> the <laughs> last goal. Yeah, what was special about that last goal? Um, one more goal and Canada couldn't win. 
And what about the atmosphere in the ground? Was it loud? Did you sing? Did you, how, how did you enjoy that? Um, there was a lot of clapping, so I liked it. It was really loud and joining in the clapping. <laughs> Thank you so much, girls. Tell us how you saw the game tonight. Uh, the game was good. It was um, very, uh, oh, I was very nervous throughout the game. Was, I didn't know how the results were going. Then we got that uh, first uh, that first goal, and then after that, they just kept on coming. How important was that first goal to settle the nerves, especially with all the pressure leading into the game? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, in the end, I was kind of, kind of uh, glad I didn't bring on Kerr, just to, when we start getting goals, if we'll, if Canada started coming back, I would have thought we would had to bring her on. She's she's had her she's rested up and she'll be right for the next game, hopefully. Given Sam Kerr's return, he's just around the corner, hopefully. Uh, how do you see Australia's campaign shaping up? How far do you think they can go in the tournament? Uh, yeah, like what my brother probably um, at least the semi-finals, hopefully I reckon. Yeah. Well, with the home home ground advantage in all the stadiums that we'll play going into the final, I reckon it gives us the chance in every game that we play. And can you just talk about finally a bit about the buzz in the stadium, what the atmosphere was like? Uh, I reckon that's up there with one of the best um, uh, football games I've been to. Um, and uh, women's uh, sports on the, on the rise, which is good. So, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Wonderful. Thanks, mate. Cheers, got boys. Take two, three. Dinosaurs! Thank you so much. Cheers.